Now we would like to discuss the effect of the insulation and the temperature on the VI curve or the power curve. For, so first we need to define the insulation or the solar irradiance. What does a solar irradiance mean or insulation mean? It means that the power per unit area received from the sun in the form of electromagnetic radiation. So it means that uh, when we are saying irradiance, we can say the uh, kilowatt per meter square. Simple as this. Or it can be energy per unit area. Okay, kilowatt hour per meter square. So for example here, you will find here the relation between the BV array current and the BV array voltage. Okay, so let's take this curve. Okay, so we'll see that at solar radiance of uh, 200 watt per meter square uh, power per uh, unit area. This means that at this value, we will have a, a value of a maximum or the short circuit current will be nearly 1.2, for example. Okay, and the maximum voltage will be uh, nearly 38 volt. Okay. Now, if we increase the solar radiance or the uh, power per unit area from the sun, for example, 400 watt per meter square, you will find that the uh, current increased, the voltage also increased. At 600 watt per meter square, the uh, current increased, the voltage increased, and so on. Okay, so we'll see that we understand here as the insulation or the irradiation or uh, the uh, power per unit area received from the uh, sun increases the uh, power uh, generated from the BV system increases okay so you'll see that here at 1200 watt per meter square here at 200 watt per meter square now if we would like to find the power we multiply the voltage multiplied by the current Okay, so at this point, zero uh, voltage multiplied by uh, 7.5 ampere. Uh, here, 10 ampere uh, multiplied by a certain value here, and so on. Okay, and the maximum power received from a BV system is at the knee of the curve. Okay, at the knee, nearly here at 35 uh, volt and nearly at 7 ampere. Okay. Now, what is the effect of the temperature on this curve? You will see here that here, for example, at the uh, uh, orange one at uh, 75 Celsius degree. Okay. So if we decrease the temperature to 50 Celsius degree here, the uh, voltage will increase, but, uh, but the current will, re will nearly remain constant. Now, again, here, at uh, 25 Celsius degree here at zero uh, degree at negative 25 Celsius degree so what does it mean it means that if we increase the temperature for example here is zero degree 25 Celsius degree 50 75 so as we increase the temperature uh, the voltage decreases but the current nearly remain constant so what does it mean? It means that the total power from the BV system decreases. Okay. So this means that at a higher temperature, the efficiency of the system decreases. Now let's see another curve here at 10 Celsius degree, 25, 40 degree, 55 degree, 70 degree. So as the temperature uh, increases from right to left, the uh, power received from the uh, BV system decreases. So as the temperature increases, the uh, power of the BV system decreases. As the insulation increases, the efficiency and the power received from the BV system increases.